How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Creators Process. As you know, my name is Jaden, and right next to me I have Myra. How are we doing today? Good, thank you. Thanks for having me. That's okay, and it's my pleasure. Thank you for uh, joining me on my channel. It's uh, my absolute pleasure. Oh, it's my honour. I'm uh, excited. Oh, I'm nervous. <laughs> oh yeah? And <laughs> no, it's like, it was really great to uh, collaborate with you the last time. Like, I think it was just a week? Last week, yeah. Yeah, jeez. And that time went really quickly, didn't it? <laughs> um, and yeah, so I just thought, you know, let's. I need to have you on the channel. Like, you seem like a very passionate person that I would love to pick out your mind to find out <laughs> your inspirations about behind what you do. <laughs> but uh, so I guess, you know, people, for the people who are watching, tell us uh, what do you do in the arts community? What would okay. you say? Uh, I guess the easiest description is an art model. Yeah. So um, I've been doing it for nine and a half years wow um mostly in life drawing classes and groups and lots of lots of different spaces actually um schools which is kind of cool sometimes you wear swimmers um i think sometimes you don't okay yeah <laughs> um so body painting um wow. sculptures drawing painting <laughs> yeah lots of stuff and um a little bit of photography as well yeah, well, so nine years of doing that, that's yeah, amazing. Yeah, so I started when I was 22. I think wow. um, everybody should be on one side of the pencil at least once in their life to, well, a few times. It is definitely quite an experience either way doing it, and it is a amazing feeling as well when you come back from either drawing or even modelling, it's just an incredible feeling. Yeah, it changes yeah. your view, I think. It really does, and so, like, I'll ask you this, so when you started because you said you were 22. Uh, what was your reason behind going into modeling? What 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 made you decide? It's not really a, an exciting reason, unfortunately, but okay. um, I just had a friend who was doing it and she was like, hey, why don't you try this? And I was like, okay. So I'm, I'm a bit <laughs> of a trier. I like yeah. to try new things, experience new things. Um, mm -hmm. So at the time I was studying my master's um, in exercise physiology rehab and I've got a bit of a anxious personality or stress type maybe type a <laughs> so um it was hard to relax but in mm. uh in this space i got paid to relax not too <laughs> relaxing they don't like but it yeah. when you fall asleep <laughs> oh yeah no. but um <laughs> it was sort of like a great spot to just um be, be present and yeah mindful and sort of switch off or time to think or obviously you've got to do some work and hold a pose and think about the next pose and stuff like yeah. that but it was just a bit of a break from study and work mm. but I got paid for it and then from there I just fell in love with it fell in love with the creative side meeting new people yeah does that answer the question? yeah no absolutely it does and it's um I, I like that attitude where you're just like I just want to give it a try because you know like I, I have that same attitude myself like you know if you at the end of the day if you don't like it you just don't do it again you know yeah. like so it's like yeah. What, what have you lost at the end of the day? Because everyone's like so afraid of going, well, what if I don't like it? Then it's like, you just go, well, you yeah. don't do it again. You yeah. know, it, it's pretty straightforward answer, yeah. you know what so I mean? So I it's went like... and um, <laughs> saw, before I modelled myself, I um, just watched my friend do it the, the time before and just did that. And the first, the very first time I modelled, I just didn't look down. You don't look down, you don't know you're naked. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, Fair. that's an interesting... Yeah, I, I guess that makes sense because, you know... <laughs> yeah. And, and I'm guessing now you're just like, oh, no, don't, yeah, you just, yeah. yeah, it's just like, not all good. It's just such but, a, it's just so empowering and you realise, mm -hmm. you realise, um, especially as a young, you know, a young woman, a, a young adult, you realise um, everyone has a body, yeah. you know, and you realise um, the, the artists in particular are very supportive and they're all looking at something else, they're not sort mm -hmm. of judging you, they're looking at the shape and, Absolutely. and the lighting and, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's a very supportive atmosphere, so I think it's um, it, you know, it's open to you know people who create art and all that sort of thing, and aren't gonna you know not a judgmental space. Yes, you know, and I yeah, think hundred percent. In fact, it's probably the opposite, especially um, the dynamic between the artists and the mm. model. When you say supportive, they they realise that the position that you are in is quite vulnerable. Mm. So they, I've just found a lot of artists will compliment you on. Um, Mm. On, on you or little bits about you which is really nice because they know how you know the, or they feel awkward for you or they know how vulnerable this being in, nude mm. in front of everyone is so they do what they can to make you feel good about mm. yourself i've modeled um 
being 54 kilos and 67 kilos. So like okay. quite a range um, throughout, you know, yeah. nine, nine years of different body shapes and stuff. And every, every time the artists compliment you. Oh, it's, wow. Yeah, it's supportive. It's amazing. Yeah. You know, and you get that really good support of going, you know, I love your poses and it's always yes, good, you know. Yeah. You, you feel like you walk away feeling good about what you did, you know. Yeah, you know, exactly. It's always, I think, you know, it's always good to have those positive compliments because then it makes you want to come back and do it again at the end yeah. of the day. And I yeah. think that's amazing so that you have that. Agree, yes. Yeah, really empowering from a body positive kind of way. Um, mm. And... I think that's so important in the world of social media. The best, the most um, sort of valued, valuable uh, class that I've done has been with the schools because I get to show the students what a real body is. Yeah. You know, not filtered, not photoshopped. Mm. Um, but yeah, that, that's one side of the modelling and the rest, you know, the art side obviously being creative and immersed yeah. in that, being a part of it and absolutely coming up with 3D creative stories and poses and... Yeah, it's sort of a very different world. It is, like you create a, a world in itself. Like I think we've been able to create in the art community a world in itself that sometimes people on the outside may not understand and it's like, well, you know, if you want to give it a try, there's this world, <laughs> completely different world that you can just walk straight in and, you know, yeah, try that's, out. That's go. a really good point. It's really yeah. like, it can be a different reality. I think, um, well, I do occasionally try to draw, like go to life drawing. Yeah. Um, classes and that's sort of the opposite of a different world like you're going well you, it's a, a world within reality but it really it, it's a very mindful experience because you're just focused on what you're doing you're in the present um, but then in regards to being being the model or doing the photography stuff and especially what with what you do with the layering and the stories mm. um, it that can be a whole new reality and it's just a sort of a great escape I guess yeah, escapism in a way, and it's um. But yeah, it, it definitely is like I remember when I came to the first life drawing, where I um, drew for the first time. Because usually, like I think the first ever time I went to a life drawing session was actually me modeling, so I never actually oh, drew. Yeah. So it was a um, very interesting feeling because I felt like because I had one point where I'm like, should I be modeling? I'm, oh, wait, no, I'm the artist right now. Like, you know, you kind of have that moment going, yeah. I should be there, shouldn't I? And I'm like, why do we have closer? Yeah, it's just like, it's like, why am I not over there? And I'm like, oh, doy, there's someone else modeling there. Like, I'm just going to, you know. I forgot to go on stage. Uh, yeah, it's like, you, you have that mental blank where you're like, wait. And it's like, oh, wait, no, 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 no. I'm the artist today. Oh, um, I think but doing both is really important, especially from oh. the model perspective, so you can get an idea of what the artists see and what you like to draw and Absolutely. get the angles and the lighting and get sort of more understanding of what they're seeing. Yeah. I think that's why I do model and photo photograph at the same time because it helps me understand how to pose people and, you know, the understanding mm. of the vulnerability. And, you know, yeah. I think that's why I got into modeling myself to understand that. And then, you know, I ended up falling in love with modeling. And, yeah, you know, yeah. It's funny how that happens, isn't it? It just <laughs> uses the brain so, in so many different ways, like the creative mm -hmm. thing. And then also, I guess, like what I'm saying with the, the spatial sort of mm -hmm. things, like... It's such a, you kind of always, I don't know about you, but you feel a bit like, ha, oh, and it's, it's an easy job because it's a semicircle. But then when you go into a room and it's like a full circle, you're like, oh, oh now yeah. I have to think in a 360 degrees. Oh, yeah. But it's great because it challenges the brain in different yeah. ways. And um, like I said, that, yeah, creating shapes in your brain and trying to yeah. make it interesting pose, but not too hard. And yeah. It is. And, you know, I think that's always a good thing when you have those challenges where sometimes you, as you said, you have a half circle and then you're like, okay, cool. So I only have to worry about doing poses like this. But then when you have a full circle, you're like, okay, I need to change it up today and do poses that everyone around is going to yeah. have like a good angle to draw and all that sort yeah, of thing. Yeah. So it's don't, like... Don't want to show some things. <laughs> oh yeah, of course. Of course. You know, and it's like, it is always, I think it's also like a lot of people think that, you know, you probably get this like going, so what you stand naked and you get paid for it and it's like oh well it's not just that you know like that's one impression I get and it's like it's actually a lot more harder than you actually think you know and it's such an interesting thing because it's like it's a lot of hard work as you we were saying that you know when you're doing a full class you have to think of different parts and then yeah. you're thinking a half class or even just a small group where it's just like a, a yeah. line across you just yeah. have to worry about that you know yeah. it's like you always have to be adjusting your mind to yeah. how you pose yourself yeah. and it's always a interesting challenge in itself yeah. mine's the opposite actually people will get um like they're always really interested when they find oh, out, okay. but they're all like 
oh, I don't think I could sit for an hour. I'm like, yeah. you don't really ever have to sit for an hour. Like they, no, yeah. yeah um, a lot of the poses where you have to do are standing anyway, or like kneeling or, more, you know. Yeah, more interesting ones. Depends mm -hmm. how long, like obviously a longer pose, 20 plus minutes yeah. you want to be sitting or um, mm -hmm. reclining, but... Absolutely, yeah. and... Uh, you don't, I think the longest pose I've ever held, held is 40 minutes, and then have wow. a break, and then get back into it, but it's never Jeez. sort of like too long. No, because it, it, it's get, really yeah. straining yeah, on the if body. If, yeah, that's another thing I love about it. If it's a long pose, you want to get into a comfortable position. But, um, yeah, it's stra it's a straining on your body. So you just... Mm. Another thing I love about, about, about this, other than the creative and the art side and the um, mindfulness and um, the body positivity, is the body connection. So you really get to feel... Mm where where your body is not just in space but like what your tolerances are what strengths that you have at the moment um and then working on that so like oh i can hold this for two minutes and then as you get stronger because that's how the body adapts mm. um you, you can hold it for longer so you can sort yeah. of know what your body is capable of and then push it a little bit more and a lot of and then you just you just work like, challenging the brain a bit so a lot of my my work in my Professional area is uh, work. We work with a lot of chronic pain, mm. and a lot of pain is only ever in, in the brain. Like the sensations that you're getting from the body, oh, but okay. pain is in the brain. So if you didn't have a brain, you wouldn't have pain because the messages that you get from the body oh. are processed in the brain, and the brain decides That's whether you have pain. I know I've got to stop talking about. No, <laughs> I'm not stop talking it, about it. Work. It, but it, it is interesting. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's, that's just really that's how pain works, and it's like acute, chronic. Like it's all processed in the brain um, and so you can so they're real messages that you're getting from the body um, but there are little like brain things and, and life things that you can do to help your body know that you are like safe or mm. you can like like brain training retraining the brain trying to like put those messages somewhere else yeah. um, so if, I just like putting those two connections together those two big parts of my life is this uh, exercise rehab and health and um, the modeling because and I tell everyone this example when I'm telling them about um, chronic pain if I'm uh, if it's appropriate to tell them that I model <laughs> like, um, <laughs> so there's um so when I'm telling my clients about chronic pain I give them this example about mine like I was standing I think it was for a 10 minute pose I was standing and my knee started really hurting do you, you get pain when uh, yeah, every now and then yeah. for like pubs or shakes and all that. Stuff. Yeah, 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 it's good exercise. Yeah, yeah. Um, so my knee started really hurting. I was like, oh man, I need to move it out. Like, it was like, you know, what it would be like a, I don't know, seven out of ten. It was really like sharp Ooh, and crampy. Wow. And then I was like, okay, Myra, this is the uh, area we work in every day. Um, you're, you're feeling this sensation, but you're not in danger. Because pain is all about danger. It's like a, I want to, the brain's like, oh, this is pain. Oh, shit, I better do something about it because mm. I'm in danger. I've got to save myself. So I'm modeling pain, knees sore, and then I tell myself, you're fine. You're just standing. There's no way you're going to cause any damage. Um, it's just getting tight. In five minutes, you'll be able to move it and stretch it, and it'll be fine. And the pain went away. And, and then I was like, oh, wow. Like, it just disappeared. And then mm -hmm. I and then I was like, tried to get it back. I was like, ow, ow, my knee, ow. But the, the pain didn't come back because I truly believed that I was safe. So that's a yeah, yeah another really cool thing um, about the modelling is just, just challenging the, the mind and the body. Yeah, no, that's that's really interesting. Sorry I didn't for that ramble. No, that's a, it was really interesting. Like I didn't really, like I, I didn't really think of it like that. But it's such an interesting thing because you know like when you. Of going like a, for example to the gym and all that you're training yourself to like you know when you're lifting one specific like 15 kilograms and then you as over time you'll be able to lift 20 then 30 because mm. you're training your body to yeah. hold up more and yeah. you know it's all and that pain ends up going away over a while because you know it's like as you said the, the signals are traveling to your body to protect your body mm. and you know to be honest I've actually had times where I actually have thought to myself going all right it's not there and then it suddenly stopped yeah. and it's like it is really interesting because I didn't really think about that until you mentioned yeah. that and it's like it's definitely a good way of like training yourself to be able to hold different poses and I think that's one mm. 
thing that I try and do myself. I always try and train myself to go, okay, can I hold it for this long? And then when I try, it's like, okay, I can hold it for this long, so let's give it an extent. And then if it doesn't work, you just go, okay, go back to there. But then if it does, it's like, well, go that step further, you know? So it's definitely a lot of willpower and a lot of mm. brain training in a way. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and yeah, muscle training and body shape. Yeah, it's just everything. Mm. It's, it, the, the, the art modeling in, in particular, like obviously I like the drawing and um, in the creative space and the photography as well, but art modeling in the, in the life drawing sense is just encapsulates sort of everything about life, nearly. Yeah, hey, that's where the life part came from. Yeah, out, <laughs> <laughs> Another thing I love about being in this community is uh, it's international um, and just meeting so many new, interesting, amazing, creative people. Um, so I have modelled in uh, Thailand, Vietnam, uh, Spain, Czech Republic, Czechia, wow. uh, Brussels, <laughs> England. So wow. <laughs> yeah. So it's it's such a it was a really cool way to um, meet new people. If you wasn't doing that, you're just meeting people in backpackers or tourist stuff. But yeah. so meeting people, you know, in Melbourne, Darwin, Sydney. Mm. Gosford, um, Mean people I know in backyard. Every, yeah, yeah. Everywhere. So the other thing I love is just meeting so many amazing people all around the world, all around Australia. And yeah. everyone sort of has that that passion and and um, you know, it's just such a different community in in the art space and everyone's like friendly and supportive and it's just cool that it's a similar vibe. Everywhere yeah. I went around, around overseas. Because it's like a, um, in a way, universal language. It's kind of yeah. like the art yeah. community is kind of its own universal language that we, only other people and other creative people can really understand it. It's really, but yeah, like I think definitely that is one of the best things because we have built such an amazing community even in Australia and even all around the world. And I think that's such... That's so amazing that you've actually been able to model in so many different countries. Yeah. That's pretty Well, awesome. even, you know, just meeting you and, like, meeting other people, everyone, you know, you get to see how they think, how they feel, and um, how it's expressed through their art. But what, I'll just catch you on what you said, um, only other creative people can understand. Mm. Yeah. The thing is, in this space, everyone is welcome. Yeah, because every, because that's true. Everyone that's true. in this space recognises the creativity of people who don't even realize they're creative. So everyone's like yeah. just brought in and welcomed. Even if, you know, you might not like yeah. someone's art because it's not, you know, what you like, but you can still mm -hmm. see that you can still appreciate the art behind it. And um, even like artists have called me an artist, which, yeah. which I try to be. I think I'm a very creative <laughs> person, but I don't know if artist is the right title, mm. but it's such a, it's such an honor. To be recognized yeah. as that. So. Well, that, that was my mistake to say that, but yeah. No, no, like, no, I know what a... you meant. Like, you have to mm. be connected with. You're right. Yeah. Like, you are right, because you need to be connected with that creative thing. But the thing is, everyone can connect with that creative thing, and this definitely. community encourages that in everyone. It's amazing. Yeah, and it's definitely like one of the. I, I guess, in a way, as you, you said, like, it's one of those communities where, like, you know, it's a language that we understand, but then it's also something that we welcome anyone who wants to explore it. Yeah, because there's so many different versions of the language and it's just it's so cool. So it's just yeah. amazing meeting so many walks of life, but all, like you're saying, all with that, that similar interest and passion. Absolutely. So I'll ask you this as a question, like, you know, with being a life model, being a photography model, have you always, has nudity for you always been something you've been comfortable with or was it something that you had to you kind of learnt yourself or like what, what was that like for you? That's a really cool question. I really like that question. Mm. No, I haven't always been comfortable with nudity. Um, you sort of are as a kid, right? And then something happens to society. Yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah, it's and then definitely not as a teenager. I like, you know, wore one pieces and rash shirt. Like I, I think I first wore a bikini. Gosh, when, again, yeah, probably when I started modeling, like 22. So I was really kind of ashamed of, embarrassed about my body. Yeah, it did. Uh, the modeling definitely, definitely helped with that. And it's not something like I, I can, people I'm comfortable around, I can be nude with it if I know that they're comfortable as well. But it's, it's not something like I won't just get naked with like anybody. Yeah. And like yeah, they have to enough. pay me. No, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so it makes, like I said, it makes people uncomfortable. And um, 
I'm not always comfortable as well. It's sort of in a, in certain situations, like if it's other friends yeah. that you you know you feel safe with, or if it's in an art space. So I don't. I'm not like a full nudist. I won't get naked anywhere in front of anyone. I'm not <laughs> that fully confident yet. Yeah. <laughs> um. But but we'll it's also <laughs> yeah. It's also yeah. You do realize, like I said um, earlier, you realize that everyone has a body. And yeah. and in yeah. my mind, I'm like, if there's something I am unhappy about, like I said, I've modeled between two different like. Uh, what 11 kilos weight mm. difference um sometimes i'm unhappy with that weight but that's just what it is at the time i'm gonna model anyway that's my body this is what i am at the moment if there's something i'm unhappy about my body i will change it um if i can and if it's not i'll accept it and like mm. like i said and everyone's looking at different things and we you know tend to focus on the worst things um but it's kind of like it's the serenity prayer. But no, I, I think I know what you're talking about. It's a, um, it, it, it is like, I think, as you said, it just depends on the situation. Like if you're in a supportive environment where you're just like, okay, you know, I can be a bit more relaxed, a bit more, you know, myself. And, you know, because like I, I love the, um, oh, I remember this artist said this incredible quote, but I can't remember what his name was, but he pretty much said to be naked is to be oneself. Which is such an interesting way, because it's like, you know, you're, you know, you're your true self and all that sort of thing. See, I, like... I think I have, um, a part of this for me and why I can be sort of nude, mm. um, sort of nude, very nude. <laughs> <laughs> just sort of, just sort of. <laughs> uh, in this space, again, because it's, I've just introduced in such a safe space, mm -hmm. um, and I, I know what it's about, and it's not sexual, um, mm -hmm. and it's um, supportive and just just amazing. But a part of it is, I don't. I'm the opposite to that quote. Like I don't. Oh, okay. I don't view my body as as me. Okay. So okay. I actually um, something I'm working on um, is being a bit more expressive with my poses uh, oh. and who I am because I feel like my behavior and my actions and my maybe opinions or expressions is who I am so I can show off my body and add like I said again at whatever it looks like because it I don't feel like my body is ref me I'm okay. not sure if that's making any sense so so in a way it's like creating a bit of a, a side persona I guess in a way like you're creating this other you in a way through your poses or is, is that what that's what I need to learn no no I need to learn oh, to okay. connect so okay. I need to learn to I want to learn to connect with um, expressing expressing myself because that it, for oh, me I feel more yeah. vulnerable in expressing who I am rather than just showing off a body okay yeah no I, I, I'm I not sure if it's making any sense but I just I, I don't think so yeah I just don't feel that my body defines me I guess okay so you don't let it yeah, define who you are as a person and all that. Yeah, sort of so thing, being but... nude doesn't isn't as vulnerable to me as being, like, say, emotionally. Vulnerable. Being you, like, uh, emotionally vulnerable to the people in front of you. Yeah, well, like, yeah, okay, yeah, being, yeah, being super open as who I am as a person, and by who I am as mm. a person, I mean, yeah. But yeah, no, because it is such a like you know you're when you're being vulnerable towards someone, you're letting them in into. Who you are and all that and it is very scary like yeah. you know you, you're letting that person in and you know they're hearing about stuff that you usually either don't talk about a lot and all that sort of thing and you're kind of like oh this feels really weird you know yeah and it's like i guess i you know, feel like because you yeah. can like i said you can change the body and that so if they judge that that's fine whatever but if they judge you as a person for who you are mm. not who your body is that's a bit more scary yeah Okay, now that's a. No, that's but but I do. Back to your quote. Yeah, I do think. It it is a different sense of power of who you are while while you're <clears> nude. Like you don't. I can Yeah, totally. So I'm just analyzing. Yeah, that's sorry. okay. That's all right. So you do. Um, I mean, a lot of people may might define themselves by their fashion. Mm. So I take away that, and that's sort of who you are without that and you can still style yourself and present yourself in different postures but mm -hmm. and that might show who you are so that is an interesting quote and that that mm. side of things yeah on. yeah no it was like something where i was like oh that's actually interesting because you know strip back all the clothes who are we you know yeah. and it's like who, who are actually are we when we're that in yeah, that, that is, spot that is interesting. but yeah no i thought it was just like so that's what i was thinking when you were saying that but like yeah. i do understand where you're coming from with that vulnerability and all that showing your yeah. true self you know yeah yeah still trying to 
find a way to show that the extra layer I've just taken the skin <laughs> off I've just taken off an extra layer <laughs> of that quote <laughs> now that's completely all good and uh, so I'll ask you as so as a final question uh, I'll ask you so what are your plans for the future like for like projects and all that sort of thing what are you well, that's another cool question yeah. um I really like I said I want to get better at um, so most of my most of my work has been um, in the life drawing um, and sort of nature, melding with the nature photography. I want to get better at um, sort of expressing, I want to connect, um, so I want to learn a bit more dancing moves. I suck at dancing. I can do the Macarena. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's about it. I really, so I'd like to learn to dance or something to just be, sh yeah, show mm. off different shapes and, yeah. um, and like I find that a bit easier when I'm listening to music. I can show it shows a different emotion because the photography yeah. to life drawing is so different it's so much more dynamic oh, and more expressive and more emotional so i want to learn improve those things um and also another thing and it ties back into that whole like identity and vulnerability is connect more with my feminine side something that i've sort of been avoiding just just how i've grown up so i look feminine but i don't really act feminine so i want to learn a bit more of the feminine expression um and also so they're the sort of projects personally in regards to modeling um and then uh i also want to maybe look in because i've been modeling for nearly 10 years um yeah. i want to set up some like workshops for models um yeah. maybe like around rural or re regional australia um mm. set up some yeah because it's like i said there's so many things empowering body mm. positivity mindfulness uh, creativity just it, I think it can really shape you as a person as an adult like desexualizing the body I think it just everyone would benefit from it but also yeah. you know providing extra models if they need any in regional spaces because variety is good and, and it, uh, variety is good so everyone has a different body people yeah. I keep saying that but the That's artists it. like to say it's good for the models to see um, Absolutely. So just having that acceptance, just to stop comparing to everyone else. Like, exactly. We're to, all different. No one wants to draw or see the same picture all the time. No, yeah. no, because that, that would variety. be boring. You know? Yeah, yeah. That would be very boring. The variety in poses but, and poses and bodies and stuff really is a, is a part of it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And like, I think that's such a great idea, like, because I think we definitely need more workshops to you know, uh, give knowledge to, you know, like new models and all that sort of thing, because there was yeah. so much that goes into it that a lot of people don't realize and that's I think true. that people need to be educated on that and yeah. you know I think that's such a great idea and yeah I want to wish you all the best on that Thanks, I, I hope that you'll get it started and let me know when you do because yeah. I'll be I'll definitely try and come to one of your sessions as well. <laughs> that's awesome thanks Jane <laughs> that's okay and uh, so I want to say a huge thank you Mara for joining me on my channel and talking about your process as a model and yeah just your knowledge about it was just it was really interesting so thank you for that thanks for having me oh that's okay it's my pleasure and so for everyone watching thank you so much for tuning into another episode of the creators process if you want to check out Myra's work I'll leave links to her Instagram and everything down below uh, go and show her some support you know support her page if uh, when she starts the workshops go and check out one of the workshops you know if you want a life model definitely give it a try it's absolutely incredible 100%. And uh, yeah, let's keep supporting local content creators. Uh, as I say in a lot of the videos, once the conversation stops, uh, you know, that's where it stops. And, you know, we need to keep the conversation going. You know, that's how we go. <laughs> Thanks, Jane. And... Your passion is inspirational. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And uh, well, same with you. <laughs> same <laughs> with you. you. And uh, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next episode.